So if you're familiar with Bobby Althoff, or if you're not, you should be, because she did the podcast with Drake, and she's like an industry plant podcaster. And she had all the hottest interviews as soon as her stuff dropped. And even after that, you know, Drake unfollowed her, which made big news and stuff like that. She recently had an interview with Suki Hana and stuff like that. So she's come under a lot of criticism in the past and things like that. But yesterday and today might even just be today. She started trending on Twitter. And the reason that she's trending on Twitter, I'll let her tell you. It's a funny story. Yesterday, I went on X, Twitter, and I saw that I was trending. And I was like, oh my god, that's that's a first. I'm trending on Twitter. You guys must really love my podcast. Wow. Uh, so I clicked it, and I was like, um, what the fuck is this? Uh, and I didn't really, like, I, I thought, like, it was a mistake or something, like... That it was like bots or something i didn't realize that it was actually people believing that that was me um until my whole team called me and were like is this is this real so like, you guys you guys anyway not me sorry to disappoint but what the fuck no that was so graphic too i was like oh my god i need to cover my eyes so with that, she felt the need to address it because, you know, it's trending nationwide or globally, however it works as far as Twitter. And it's going crazy. Now, if you go and try and look for the pictures, it's, it's, it's a Rappuccino, man. You got to be one of those like, you know, sluice to really get to the bottom of where that's at. You're going to have to get into some shady discord or something like that, because even on Reddit, it's it's not really easy to find at this point right now on twitter they just have bots saying yo i got the video i got the video because why is trending and this is engagement bait these bots or even these accounts that just like to get engagement off bs and stuff like that they they see this as an opportunity to get engagement bait and stuff like that from what i've seen i've seen a little bit and you know not nothing you know uh bear is the word that we'll use. But as far as that, you know, it's uh, definitely AI as far as what I've seen. I heard there's a video and some other stuff. I haven't seen even a snippet of anything bare. So with that being said, it, the one thing I do want to say is this is the spooky stuff that we were talking about last year when all this AI stuff came into the fold all at the same time. It's like, boof! They just hit us in the face with all these AI services at one time. You could be Patrick Starr or Donald Trump, or you could be, uh, you know, or, or you could, you know, make images out of just words and things like that. You type it in and it makes hyper realistic images. And even recently, I heard the AI video is getting a lot better. I've seen some updates and things like that. And these services are available to anybody, anybody, even Facebook Messenger. Now you can make images in Facebook Messenger without paying nothing. There's a service called Mid Journey that I used before, and that is ten dollars. Facebook Messenger, you could do it for free. You could do the same exact thing and put in the same prompts and get an image for free now. So it's more it's becoming more accessible, it's becoming more powerful, and we're going to see some of the negative effects in the future. You know, if you if you don't have imagination and things like that, you know, fake camera footage can be made. We, it, the internet is already in a bad place to where you know them people overseas had us messed up on social media, especially Facebook, with the fake news when the election happened in 2016. That changed the internet game forever. We already knew there was misinformation floating around. Like, you know, you used to see fake, you know, Friday, the, the last Friday, and it was like, you know, a Friday sequel. You know, you used to see fake stuff like that. But now it's, it's even worse. It's gotten to the news and stuff like that, but what AI could mean as far as the ability to use it, it could mean way more powerful propaganda could be made by whoever 
whether it be a media source you trust or just be somebody online. And also, even then, it can be used to possibly even incriminate some people or put people in tough positions. So with that being said, it's kind of crazy. And we're going to see how this develops over the years as far as the whole AI stuff. But let me know your thoughts. I'm out.